Right, so here we are again. So we're just going to carry on a little bit about the immersion heaters. Now, before you spend any money or go mad and start condemning things or listening to uh, some dumb plumber who's trying to get out of trying to do any repairs and just talk you into a new unit, there's a few things you can do that uh, you can test to see what's actually wrong with your immersion heater and your system. Now for this, you need a fairly small complement of electrical testing equipment. Now this is just standard equipment that I carry everywhere. And uh, it consists of a, a good quality multimeter. I have an amp meter. And I have a very bog standard quick tester, voltage tester and resistance or continuity tester. Now this is just for speed. If I want to do more precise testing, I'll use one of the other two. Now what we can do is if you've got fouled hot water system, we can test the thermostat itself to make sure that it's actually making or breaking, and we can test the resistance and the flow, so that's really easy to do. But more importantly, we can actually test the immersion heater. Now, the immersion heater itself has got a set resistance, there's very little uh, margin in that resistance, so using a multimeter, we can actually test to see if the immersion is intact without even seeing it or without having to drain anything off. And that way we can tell whether the immersion's actually blown. Now if it has blown, it's probably due to the fact it's got scab inside the cylinder. But at least we can test it before we start going to extreme lengths or doing something pretty drastic to your heat system and spending lots of your money unnecessarily. So, with the right test equipment, within a few minutes, we can isolate and diagnose exactly what's wrong with your hot water system and then we can make, uh, what I can say, uh, an informed assessment as to what you need to do and we can give you some choices and then we can go on from there.